This seems like less and less like a serious game. Okay, normal it is then. China 1526. It has been two years since Shen Yang, the leader of a corrupt group of an Unix known as the Tigers, <coughs> wiped out the Chinese Brotherhood of Assassins. These Tigers. I think they have too many spaces there. These Tigers are Templars and secretly run China from the shadows using the Emperor as nothing but a puppet. Xiao Zhen, one of the few survivors, has returned under the orders of Wang, Yim, Wang Yingming, the new leader of assassins. Together they plan to hunt down the Tigers and free China from its Templar control. To return to their old home, the Magician Grottos, once an assassin stronghold, now it is a Templar prison, run by Gao Feng. To get close to the target, Xiao Jun allows herself to be captured. She carries a precursor artifact given to her by Ezio di Torre, knowing that the Templars will want answers about the artifact and ensuring her imprisonment. Yeah, just like we saw in that video. The box is empty, or should I say, incomplete. Where is the rest of it? We know who you are. We know who you were. You've come far for someone who was merely once a concubine. I will ask you again, assassin. What is this box? Where did it come from and what is its purpose? Why continue to resist us? Look around you. No one is coming. We wiped out your order. There is no escape from here. Why would I want to escape? I am exactly where I want to be. Such arrogance! <laughs> will make you talk. Let him try. No wonder your kind fell so far. My kind isn't done yet. The escape, 1526, Mei Zhishan After allowing herself to be captured in order to get close to one of the Xiangyong's tigers, Gao Feng Xiaozhen must now escape her cage and recover her equipment. Once she has her weapons and tools, the hunt for Gao Feng begins. Upgrades increase health. Secondary objectives rescue the assassin informant Hong Li Wei. Time to get out of this cage. Okay. Okay, you could have let me do that. The Meijishan Grottoes are a series of caves cut into the mountain of Meijishan. They are located in the Ganshu province in northwest China. They were constructed under the Qin dynasty in the 3rd and 4th centuries. Its name means Wheatstack Mountain and is made of red sandstone. The impressive appearance of the mountain is just the surface of the wonder, since the grottoes contain over 7,000 Buddhist sculptures and over a thousand square meters of murals in more than 200 caves. On the outside, a series of platforms can be seen, allowing people to navigate the vertical faces of the mountain, as well as granting access to the caves which go deep inside. Xiao Jun, 1505 unknown, was a member of the Chinese Assassin's Brotherhood, former concubine of Emperor Zhang Dei. She was rescued by the Assassins after the Emperor's death and devoted her life to the Order as a, as a result. Zhang Dei's successor, Xi Jing, Prophet of the Tigers ordered the purge of those who opposed him, which included the assassins. Following the order's decline in China, Xiao Jun and her mentor Zhu Zhuon led west to seek out the Italian assassin mentor Ezio di Torre de Firenze. Six Animus Shards. I also have an awareness count. Huh? Until the count will turn yellow. If you enter the red section, they will alert. That's it, you just kill him. And the models are kind of low quality too.
What do you want me to do that? Hold F to turn wheels. Switch planes. Dogs. Girls use dogs to instantly raise the alarm when they detect nearby intruders. If you enter the awareness area of a dog, they will instantly start barking and raise the alert of all nearby guards. You will need to find another way around the dog's awareness if you want to avoid raising the alarm. Dogs will raise the alarm if they are affected by the noise dart, firecracker or throwing knife. Girl Fang attributes medium to high, damage medium, attack speed medium, detection medium. Special abilities melee multi-attack, revenge attack. Girl Fang was a Templar and a member of the Unix known as the Tigers. He was not the most prominent of the eight Tigers, but was still an efficient and discreet operative. After his order to control of China by putting Emperor Xi Jing on the throne, he was given charge of the Gansu province. An experienced swordsman with more ability than his henchmen. <laughs> Isn't that someone we need to stop? Help? Find your rope dart. I like my rope dart. Wait, can I? Jump on top? No, it's all very specific. What do we have over here? That's a shard. Grunt. Revenge attack. This is the most basic of all foes you will face. Grunts are slow to react and weak, but in numbers can cause problems. They will throw low damage projectiles when at range. Can I sneak up on one? Aha. Oh shit, I don't have anything. Right, I have no 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 thing. Okay, not being seen by girls will score higher than fighting your way through a section. Fine. Kill no one and stay out of sight to achieve a Shadow Gold style rating. Can I reload or something? Please start checkpoint. Okay. Shadow Gold. Okay. Don't remain very close to guards for too long, they will become aware of you and turn around. An icon displayed above an enemy's head when they are about to look back. Uh huh. 
Move left and right in hiding places. Shadow gold. Bells of the ones come, stay out of it. Got it. Use your whistle to distract them and avoid being seen. Hold to show whistle area. Use to modify the whistle strength and press A to whistle. Uh huh. Shima. Hidden shoe blade. Shao Jin does not use a typical hidden blade. She adapted the standard assassin blade uh, to suit her athletic style and concealed the blade under her right foot, which she used with little accuracy in tandem with her acrobatic skills. Throwing weapons. Hand thrown weapons were not extensively used in ancient China, but there were three main types of such weapons. The darts were simple arrowhead shaped projectiles, when the more exotic golden coin dart was an actual coin with sharp edges, and the flying steel olive was a kind of metal ball, also thrown without the aid of a sling. Okay. <laughs> Investigate? Investigate what? Good to have you back, my friend. rope dart. Also called, called Shin Bayo, a 5 meter long rope with a metal dart attached to one end. It is a versatile tool but is primarily used as a weapon. Its speed is very useful in limited spaces and its length allows Xiao Jun to strike far far. Xiao Jun can use the rope dart to anchor into distance objects and climb the rope to gain high advantage on enemies or to bypass tricky situations. This tool created by Xiao Jun was used by generations of assassins after her. Really? You created this thing? Generic controls. Block and contextual action. Green chests. Open the chest. I'm clicking F. That's the map. to press F exactly because this isn't working. Seriously. Uh. 
also some those kinds of skills in the style grade. Good to know. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. I don't think we can see any assassinate from our real hiding spots. Angle vision. Damn it. Okay, that wasn't good. Yes, extremely quiet. Yeah, it makes a noise. Why can't I move when I do that? Why? What's wrong with this AC game? And by the way, I play all the AC games. Use a firecracker to stun the guard. Aha. Uh -huh. Like... like this? Bronze. Really? Bronze? I liked it. It was a big improvement. Unity was fine. It's underappreciated. <laughs> Ni Yeah, it's all the rats. Okay, so it got... So... so it got some score. I'm still gonna play it, it's part of the continuity. Investigate. What does investigate mean? Hey, ah, shit. Ah, shit. Find your sword.
all of them, you don't want to play games with a Metacritic score less than 75. Who says that? What was that written? Ammo caches. Fire crackers. Rating games on a number scale is just plain stupid. A little distraction could help me here. Why aren't you speaking Chinese? Huh? Ah, God damn it. Well, I have a different thumb then. Silver. My sword. Hey, that was a thing. Time to test your sword. Oh, it's old. It's your. Remember to look for signs your opponent is about to strike. Yes, that's it. This time, when you block, perform a rollover. A what now? Aha. Uh -huh. This tactic is also good to escape. Attack this end. Show me how you strike with your sword. Good. Standard attacks are quick, but they deal little damage. Strike the enemy harder. Excellent. Heavy attacks deal more damage. See? The enemy is now weaker. Finish him. Keep going. Ah, damn it. Complete for now. That's your auditory. Uh, 1459, 1524. An Italian nobleman born in Firenze. In Flor Firenze. He was the mentor of the Italian Assassin's Brotherhood from 1503 to 1513. That you remain unaware of his assassin heritage until the age of 17. Yeah, we've seen all this in Brotherhood. After finding, uh, Etchi began a quest to rediscover the lost history of the Order and unraveled many secrets from the past of the Assassin and First Civilization. After finding peace and reaching an old age, Ezio retired and resided in a Tuscan villa with his wife, Sophia, and his two children. This is when he met Xiao Jun. Aha. Aha. Hong Li Wei. Low rank eunuch living in the concubine quarters of the Forbidden City during Emperor Zhang Dei's reign. He taught calligraphy to the younger girls and was fond of Xiao Jun as were many of her teachers. During the purge led by the tigers, he helped the assassins but was caught by the snake Wai Bin and was imprisoned for life. At least I know where he is now. Please second the adjustment will increase your level score. Let's 
Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Be quiet. Be very quiet. Assassinate the guard. I'll get the key and get you out of there. Throw him over the edge. Hmm. I want that shard. Okay, they're looking after each other. He's not gonna reach here. I can get him at the next pass. Take this, take this, and put it here. Clap. Damn it. Wait, what? Stay here. I'll get the key and get you out of there. Yes, keep moving. Okay, you come over, then you go back. Then I follow you. Then I hide. Then you go back. No, he wasn't gonna be noticed, but whatever. And then, on your way back... I'm gonna snatch you. And he's 
gonna turn around. Can I whistle to get him closer? Sure. No. This way. Here is the key. Escape when you can. Woohoo! Ah, damn it. Your man did not capture me, Galvin. I allow myself to be caught. Vengeance I begins. Exactly where I want it to be. Close enough to kill you. Where is the box you took from me? Far from your reach by now, assassin. One of your tiger brothers must have it. No matter. I will find it now and retrieve it from his still warm corpse. Do you even know what the box is? I know it belongs to the Brotherhood. How naive. Thinking you can retrieve the box. Thinking that killing me will achieve anything. Killing just one of you will not give me the vengeance I seek. You are the first of the tigers to fall, but you will not be the last. Also, this is the first female assassin in the Brotherhood, chronologically. I missed one shard. Okay. Health increase. An additional point! Hide dash. When in a hiding place, press in the design direction and press the space button to dive into the next available hiding spot. Okay. Select a throwing knife and aim by holding and moving and already press to throw. Noise dart. This was once a safe place for us assassins. Some young tiger saw to the end of that. Their forces surprised and overwhelmed, all but wiping out the Brotherhood. Gao Feng's death will send a message to the Templars. The assassins have returned. Expand Eagle Vision. Increase throwing knife ammo in plus game. Retrieve the assassin scrolls. With Gao Feng dead, Xiao Jun must now escape through the vast caves and cliff sides of her previous home before the Templars realize one of their masters is dead. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Climb down walls. Oh, okay. Leap of faith. Time to become more familiar with my surroundings. Huh. Shard. Uh, weapons, ammo, targets. Venomous shards, weapon cache, main objective, sink point. Something smells nice. Found something? Nothing. You? 
没有，什么都没有发现。To dismount walls. Pull him in. No. Is ah, 没什么动静。希望能一直都这么平静。这趟巡逻真是平静。Dash between hiding places. Are you coming back? Reinforcement zones. You're standing there. That's not supposed to turn around. God damn it. There should be no detections. <clears throat> yes. Child. <coughs> nah. Oh, nah. Nah. Shard, but not really continuation. <coughs> Magician, magician statues. The magician grottoes contain literally thousands of religious statues and sculptures. They vary in size greatly, with the largest standing 16 meters tall and the smallest a mere 10 centimeters. They differ from other similar grottoes by the fact that most are not carved directly from the rock and are instead clay models. During my escape from surface in a long time, humbly way low rank eunuch. Yeah, okay. Xu Xu Yun. 
Master Assassin and Mentor was the head of the Beijing Assassin's Brotherhood, notably trained Xiao Xun from Initiate to the full rank of Assassin. He traveled with her to Europe, hoping to find help from Messi Auditore on their quest to rebuild the Chinese Brotherhood. In 1524, Xu was killed in a fight with Templar agents in Venice. <laughs> Reload. Use throwing knives. Yeah, I have police outside. Mm-hmm. Drop it on someone? They're not going anywhere. So it's a distraction. Shard. Hmm, Hmm, What do we have here? Cash over there, shells up there. This is impassable. You can use throwing knives while climbing walls. So, like this. God damn it. No. <clears throat> and I want to reload. Hmm, That's not how it's supposed to work. Exactly, did I do the well?
That also works. Reinforcement zone. Okay, I need you to look back. And then look back again. And then... What if I do this... Over here? Nothing. Ah, not what I meant. Yeah, that works. Crossbowman. Ranged attack, revenge attack. Powerful ranged weapon. You will also use his crossbow to do melee damage at close range. Stay focused and you can dodge his bolts. Those are very old weapons, and are present in Sun Tzu's The Art of War, written between 500 BC and 300 BC. It's Sun Tzu, by the way. <coughs> it is thought that Chinese were the first to invent the repeating crossbow. An attached magazine would mechanically replace a fired bolt with another or the shooter rearmed the weapon. <coughs> Yeah. Call one. Xiao Xun was born in 1505 in imperial captivity and was raised to become a concubine in the Forbidden City. At first she was of low rank and was one of many girls who hoped to become a wife of the Emperor. She was taught the traditional arts displayed by the ladies of the imperial court, embroidery, singing and reading, but early on showed exceptional talent for dance and music. Her agility and cat-like discretion fascinated Emperor Shang Te as he liked abusing his power to humiliate his court. He often used the child Xiao Jun as his pile thief to stage jokes against eunuchs or even ministers. He also forbid that Xiao Jun be footbound so that she didn't lose her dancing abilities, although footbinding was a key asset to becoming an attractive woman. Footbinding is a disgusting practice. Wheels, chest, sidewall climbing. Okay. Rope swing, of course. Didn't I just receive one of the scrolls?
Did I miss anything important? I don't think I did. Use the noise dart to lure the guard away from the hay bale, press to aim and throw. Nah. That was a noise. Hmm, no. And assassinate. <laughs> Hide in the bushes. Remain stationary in bushes when enemies approach to avoid being detected. Kill from bushes. Okay. And I can swing from bush to bush. Who's there? Times seen. This is where we used to keep the assassin scrolls. I should try to retrieve as many as I can while I have the chance. Yeah, good idea. Um, okay, there's a secondary mission. And the shot over there. down there, scroll down there. Ah! Damn it, he was looking up. This is where we used to keep the assassin scrolls. I should try to retrieve as many as I can while I have the chance. You were supposed to assassinate him. This is where we used to keep the assassin scrolls. Okay, how about I do this first? As many as I can while I have the chance. Is that an explosive barrel? Uh-huh. Peace. 
Is that peace for you? Is it PC enough? So what is this? This is just for firecrackers? This is just for noise darts. The dog. What do I do about the dog? Inside. Yeah, there's another shot over there. That's the end. You can jump off ladders in the desired position. Yeah, figured. Oh, jumped in this desired position. Come on, jump! Never mind. This is where we used to keep the assassin's guns. I should try to retrieve as many as I can while I have the chance. The chance. There's no reason to get down, right? Time to get rid of him. No, no, no. Ow. Uh, down. Somewhere down. That's the one scroll. But I missed something. What did I miss? Okay, what? Where is it? Might be on the other side. Okay.
There's another shard over there and another skull over there. And now we have to go back. I can just switch over right here. But I need to go back because I need to get that skull. Nope, 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 nope. to go yeah he's a looker make it as bloody as possible How do I get down there? Really, how do I get down there? This won't fly. Let's make sure you're completely out of the way. Got it. Yeah, I don't need you anymore. Silver. Al. Walk past bird catches to avoid disturbing them and alerting nearby.
我们不能让任何人通过。保持警戒，我们得保持戒备才行。我同意，我们不能让任何人通过。I can double assassinate。保持警戒，我们得保持戒备才行。我同意，我们不能让任何人通过。我同意，我们不能让任何人通过。怎么回事啊？啊！我同意，我们不能让任何人通过。我好像听到什么声音了。保持警戒，我们得保持。怎么回事啊？啊、oh, ！ Come on！ 站住！我们不能让任何人通过。他们跑哪去了？他们不见了。保持警戒，我们得保持戒备才行。我同意，我们不能让任何人通过。What if I do this？ 保持警戒。什么？我同意。我们不能让任何人通过。Thank you Throwing knives to cut ropes. Yeah, I get it. Um, chest. Oh, I get it. You just throw a knife. Pick up another one. I want to get up there somehow. Does his vision come all the way to here? No, it doesn't. Ah, no, 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 he's stupid, stupid, stupid. Didn't reload and none of the doubt. Never mind. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, the right one is watching too much. I need to get rid of him. Maybe I'll also get rid of the left one as well. Shit! Did someone crack their knuckles? Yeah, I want to get up to the chest. That's a bird, that's the chest. I'm not repeating this. Scroll 2. While she was still a child, Xiao Jun witnessed the execution of Liu Jin, leader of the Tangas, a small group of powerful and influential eunuchs. The Zhengde Emperor had found proof of Liu Jin's plot to assassinate him and had the traitor tortured using the Ling Shi technique, also known as Death by a Thousand Cuts. 
The eunuch's agony lasted for two days, and the young Xiao Jin would never forget the punishment for betraying her emperor. Although Liu Jin had been stealing considerable amounts of gold and silver from the taxes, he was betrayed and entrapped by one of his own men, Zhang Yong, an agent of the Templars and his successor as the head of the Tigers. Plane switch, revenge attack. Uh huh. Game modes. Standard experience of players will progress through the story and unlock abilities and upgrades naturally. Your abilities and upgrades from normal playthrough are carried on. Into your plus game mode, you now have the opportunity to unlock more advanced upgrades and score multiplier is added to your playthrough. Plus hard. We'll test everything you have learned in normal mode. Extended experience, you're limited to one block of health. Enemies are faster. <laughs> I think with this, I'm done. Not a sync point. Fang is dead, Sifu. As is Ma Yong Chen. The butcher. Good. Our plan worked. Who's next? Patience, sister. We must move carefully. Zhang Yong and his tigers control the empire now. He is down too tired of to turn. Gao Feng did not have the box. I did not retrieve it in time. Worry not, young one. We knew that was a risk. To allow yourself to be captured without the box would have meant certain death. We will get it back. Maybe the Templars will even lead us to the missing piece. Perhaps. But now I'm afraid we have just given our enemies a dangerous weapon. Take some rest, little sister. Together, we will free our land from the Templars and their pawns. Zhang Yong and his tigers. We will rebuild our brotherhood. You can't do Brawler and Assassin and Shadow. Doesn't work that way. Okay, didn't miss anything. Expand Eagle Vision. Okay. Increase the distance of Eagle Vision, allowing Xiao Jin to see more of her surroundings. Underhang. Day a bustling port. By night, a hub for the Templars to trade those who oppose them into slavery. I have located the box, Xiao Zhu. It's in the possession of Yu Deong, another of Zhang Yong's tigers, the one they call the Slaver. So he is responsible for this cruelty. I shall pay him a visit. Tread lightly, sister. The Templars are searching all ships and cargo. They are looking for us now. I know you can kill these lesser men with ease, but I would suggest you remain invisible, a ghost, until you find your target. Yes, you fool. Increase health, increase firecracker ammo. Increase helix bar. Kill three Templar informants. Hey! Set kill three informants. Xiao Jun begins the hunt for our next target, Yeo De Yong. She will have to move through the Templar forces, searching the moored ships and patrolling the port side docks to reach the edges of the Tiger Fortress. Kill informants. The port of Macau, why? We have anything right now. Main target. Reach the deck of the cargo ship. 
Portuguese ships. Caracs were multi-masted ships developed in the 15th century by the Portuguese to develop their trade routes in the Atlantic Ocean. Explorers generally preferred the lighter caravels to travel far when never built in speed, but the needs to transport large amounts of products from the Orient to Europe needed larger ships to improve the profitability of such long and perilous travels. After my arrival in Macau, I quickly heard about three merchants who suddenly became important and rich after they helped the tigers to locate and kill our friends in Macau. They deserve the same fate as their masters. Some floors make sounds. Some floors make sounds that can raise enemy awareness. Uh -huh. No, why would I want to go down there? I want to keep heading straight. And I can't, because of reasons. What's <clears throat> going I am staying silent. How the hell you're watching me through the floor? Underhang, huh? That didn't kill him? I have to do this now. Use bamboo curtains as hideouts. The white curtain will vanish. I can't assassinate the curtains? Are you going to No, not what I wanted. Well, is my options. Oh, 
你也别忘了照顾。随时保持警戒，而你们也要细嚼慎吃，好好保护我的安全。我会照你，你也别忘了照我。随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会照你，你也别忘了照我。怎么回事？警报！小心！看 ，damn it！ 随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会照你。你也别忘了照顾我，随时保持警戒。而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会照你，你也别忘了照顾我，随时保持警戒。啥？搜查所有船只。在高凤跟马永成死后，于大用要我们更加谨慎小心。刺客组织真的回来了吗？唉。If I kill him near the door, then the other guy won't notice. 没什么动静。希望能一直都这么平静Here's my chest. Scroll three. By the age of thirteen, through Shaoxian's talents and Zhang Te's affection for her, she has been risen to the rank of imperial concubine. She was poised to become imperial consort or even empress, along with another girl named Zhang, who was her best friend. Even though, even then, Xiao Xun had never visited her emperor's bed, since he preferred the intimate company of prostitutes and other ladies he invited in. The emperor fancied himself to become a warlord, and went to fight the Mongols in the north, who were regularly raiding Chinese territory. Xiao Xun was one of the few concubines he took along with him on his expeditions, to serve mostly as a spy and finally for his personal leisure. Located on the western side of the Pearl River Delta, Macau was actually known as Haoxing before it was lent to Portuguese traders during the 16th century. Initially a small fishing port of southern China, it became a prominent location for international trade after the arrival of the first Portuguese ships commanded by Jorge Alvarez in 1513, before he reached Hong Kong. Not long after, the Chinese let the Portuguese develop their trade in the area and Macau became an increasingly independent territory. In exchange for an annual rent, the traders earned the rights to anchor their ships in the port itself and to stay on shore and build their own storage facilities, until they were granted self-administration during the 19th century as part of the Portuguese Empire. The Chinese government reintegrated Macau in 1999 and the town still has a special administrative status, and Portuguese is still one of the two official languages there, along with Cantonese. Huh, I can do that. Uh. 
But I don't need any. There's that guy over there. And there's a shard over there. Yeah, I had to make it quick. Come on! Hmm. I really like her outfit. It's really cool. God damn it. Yeah, I can't go left. <laughs> God damn it. You always have to slide. Can't you just switch? Cash vantage points. Okay, another shard, another shard.
Yeah, can't go through here. Crap! Crap! Oh, I'm back here? Shit. <clears throat> Map is synchronized? No, it's not. Child is gone. Okay. Come on, kill him! Kill him! Oh, oh there's nothing up there. The balance of the simulation. What if I do this? No, that won't work. Didn't miss anything. I think Chinese junks. Chunks of Chinese design vessel developed during the Song Dynasty, 960 to 1279. Even earlier junks were efficient and sturdy enough to sustain sea travel over long distances. Technical achievements like the design of hull and sail made them superior to the western ships that eventually adopted them. <clears throat> Liu Jin, 1451-1510, was a well-known Chinese eunuch and leader of the group of the Tigers during the reign of the, uh, Asian self enriched incredible level of wealth. He remained untouchable for a while and ignored the presence of Templars among his closest men. In 1506, he had Wang Yingming expelled from court. Yeah, not interested anymore.
Aha. First, grab this. Then, what is over here? Open the chest? No? Aha! Now I get it. There's a cache up top that I don't need. The hell was that? Can you do this? Nope. Why do I need to cut that rope? There's something special about that rope? Wooden shield guard blocks all standard attacks, melee multi attack, and revenge attack. Will block all light attacks, heavy attacks will damage it. Some enemies will unleash a volley of strikes in a single attack. You've got it. Now let's deal with enemies that block your attacks. Use a standard attack against the enemy with a shield. Try again. Enemies with shields will repel standard attacks. Use a heavy attack to degrade the enemy's defenses. Good. Keep going and destroy his shield. Good. Keep going. Excellent. Now finish the job and kill him. Remember, you can also roll over an enemy to bypass his defenses. Mm-hmm. First I need to get to him. He's gonna walk. Did he show them 
，把虎宦官已经有两个人死了。嗯哼，是啊，我听说是在搜捕刺客组织，听说他们回来了。Yeah, we're back. That wasn't good. You 听说了吗？把虎宦官已经有两个人死了。是啊，我听说是在搜捕刺客组织，听说他们回来了。Okay. Nope, nope, nope. That's not how it's supposed to go. You 听说了吗？把虎宦官已经有两个人死了。是啊，我听说是在搜捕刺客组织，听说他们回来了。Thank you. Yeah, I don't fight well. Okay, so you're just an asshole. Got it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I do that. I want that 
Schade. Lantern Guard. You can see inside the background hiding places. Vision codes. <laughs> yeah, I figured vision codes. Wait, can I grab on? Haha! -ha. What? What are you doing? Okay. <clears throat> F. F. Oh. Uh No. Firecracker, thank you. Oh, so pigeon. Hey, ah, damn it. Stop looking up.
Don't reach the body. Don't reach the body. Okay. Um, well, to now. Oh, times a lot of time seen. You can't not even let me read it. You're <coughs> <sighs> No. 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 What? How the hell are you seeing me? What is over there? Do I really need it?
于大用要我们搜寻所有船只。我们在找什么？看看有没有任何不寻常的地方。随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会照你，你也别忘了照我。随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会照你，你也别忘了。Wait. How do I get to the chest? Yeah, it's all the rats. 而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会照你，你也别忘了照我。啊，什么 ？Move, move, damn it! Nah. Controls. Seriously. 于大用要我们搜寻所有船只，我们在找什么？看看有没有任何不寻常的地方。怎么回事啊？随时保持警戒。而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会照你，你也别忘了照我。随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会照你，你也别忘了照我。随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺。他们跑哪去了？Come here. How do I grab that?
Also, there's a second informant. Only me. Oh, yeah. How the hell do I reach that? How the hell do I reach the handholds? Wait, I can't go back? Okay, that fucking sucks. Yosutamuela, Nanda Okay, now that we've done that... He's just staring. No, no, no. I really like her style. Wait, there's another level? What? Oh, come on. Idiots. Idiots.
No, this is the actual continuation. What? But... How? Yao 随时保持警戒，不会是啊。而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会罩你，你也别忘了罩我。随时保持警戒，而你们也要信守承诺，好好保护我的安全。我会罩你，你也别忘了罩我。How many points do I need? 1,120. Need that chest and I need more shards and I need to do that secondary objective. What the hell? And still, how the hell do I get those handholds? And how the hell do I get higher? Oh. 
And that was that. And that's it. Right? Nothing more here. First, I want that chest. Call four. Emperor Zhengdi died earlier in 1521 when Xiao Jun was only 16. Her fate was sealed and she would not become Imperial Consort or Empress, unless Zhengdi's successor was to like her, but she never had her feet or breasts bound to grow graciously small as most beautiful ladies did at the time. The powerful eunuchs known as the Tigers were back in power after Zhengdi's had ex Zhengdi had executed the leader Liu Jin. They had remained silent and obedient, but now they were showing their real power and plotting to put their own man on the throne. Style grades, whistle, light bodies, eagle vision, firecracker, ammo caches, block, Roll over. I don't want to roll over. Heavy attack. Killing. Hide dash. Throwing knife. Noise dart. Wall climbing. Reinforcement zone. Underhang. Noisy floors. Bamboo curtains. That's it. <laughs> Now, let's get the hell out of here. No. Heavy crossbowmen. They're fast. Ranged multi attack. Turret like individuals tend to stay routed to a particular spot, searching for anyone suspicious and unleashing a flurry of crossbow bolts upon them. They have the repeating crossbow, right? Wait, what is that leading? Did I miss that in the previous one? Oh! 
Damn it. You know what? I'm taking a break. I need some food. So I'll be back later. Thanks for watching. See you later.